connect the transmitter to the TV box with the HDMI cable. Connect the transmitter to the receiver with the CAT6 cable. Connect the receiver and projector with HDMI cable. Connect the power adapter to the receiver. Turn on the power. The projector properly displays the video from TV box. Connect the USB port of the transmitter to the TV box. Connect the keyboard and mouse to the receiver. The TV box can be controlled by keyboard and mouse at the distance of 100 meter. Connect the USB drive to the receiver. The USB drive can be read by TV box and work properly. Replace the TV box with a computer. And the keyboard and mouse work properly. Connect the USB drive to the receiver. The USB drive can be read by the computer and works properly. The keyboard, mouse, even the USB drive work properly under BIOS. Connect the IR receiver to the IR in of the transmitter. Connect the IR transmitter to the IR out of receiver. You can easily control the projector on the transmitter side. The same. Connect the IR receiver to the IR in of the receiver. Connect the IR transmitter to the IR out port of transmitter. Point the IR transmitter to the IR receiver or the TV box. You can easily control the TV box on the receiver side. Connect the RS-232 port of the transmitter to the computer's RS-232 port. Connect the RS-232 port of the receiver to the projector's RS-232 port. Send RS-232 code with serial debugger tool. Here is an example of switching the input source of projector to VGA. Send RS-232 code. The projector has received the codes and executed the switching command. Take the shutdown command as an example. Send the shutdown command. The projector has successfully received the command and going to standby. <laughs>